show's not over yet. It's Harley Quinn, Deadshot, King Shark, and Captain Boomerang against the world's yep. greatest DC superheroes in this extended look at Suicide Squad. Extended Show look. The Justice League. Let's go. Let's hear from developer Rocksteady Studios. Let's hear it. Hi everyone, my name is hey. Aaron and I'm the studio product director at Rocksteady Studios. What's Suicide up? Squad Kill the Justice League is the next installment in the Arkhamverse and will be releasing this May. It is a third person action shooter set five years after the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Okay. Metropolis has been invaded and you're going in as the Suicide Squad members, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot and Captain Boomerang to face off against the ultimate threat, a corrupted okay. Justice League. The team has been hard at work at creating the best possible game experience for our players, and we're very excited to share more as part of this state of play. Today, let's take a brief look at one of the missions in our game. The Flash has been corrupted by Brainiac, a and brief as the Suicide look? Squad, you'll need to work together minutes, in a no? full-player online co-op to stop the Flash and rescue Lex Luthor in the process. Enjoy. Rescue Lex Luthor? Lex! Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. <laughs> Hello, Brainiac? Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. Good news! You want Luther, all you have to do is come and get him. <laughs> Oh God, how is the Suicide Squad gonna beat Brainiac? How? Task Force X, what the hell was that? Flash Th is alive. And he has Luther. One damn thing at a time. That artillery is gonna wreak havoc on our front line. If there's a snowball's chance in hell you can destroy it, I expect you to. No matter the cost, are we clear? Yeah! Where the snowball? Time to light them all up. Let's go. Okay. She got some grappling hook. Okay. Guess Quinn ain't holding anything back for later. Nope. Oh my big guys. Okay. Teleporter. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Definitely shooter heavy. Focus on fire on this tank. Why do we never get reinforcements? Okay. Spot your mate. Okay. So it's a shoot 'em up. Basically. Incoming. So Roger that Quinn. Brainiac is like the biggest bad guy almost, right? And he leaves a giant Shoot here on 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 everything. Spot, weak spots on something Brainiac makes. Why? Why would he make weak spots? <laughs> Boom, job I don't know. Go, I don't know. Just call me the pinball wizard. Unstoppable. Quinn, there's more of them. Thank you. It's just a shoot 'em up. It's just bullet hell, dodge bullets. Oh, she's swinging off of drones. Okay, that makes sense. Like a wave. Okay. Boom. Ha ha! Ouch! I love our escapade. 
Blades. Okay. Lex doesn't want no parts of nothing. <laughs> so, how the whole taking down the flash thing go? <laughs> Still in play? I get out of my way. I have work to do. <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, hey there, sleepyhead. We've got an interrogation to get back to. Hey. You think I'm just gonna let you walk away? And tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop us? Pathetic. Nope. Pathetic? At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. Enough! Oh. Flash. How oh. do I stop this? Please. Wonder tell Woman? me how. She's not evil. You have to kill us, Diana. Oh. Do it. We have to die to save the world. Oh, shit. <laughs> kill the Justice League, Diana. Do it. Do it, Diana. <laughs> and then it goes into the Wonder Woman game. <laughs> Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League arrives on PS5 May 26th. Rocksteady Studios has even more to share today. Let's listen in. Okay, demo. Battle pass. Live service. Show me what you got. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are okay. we going, and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope the <laughs> fans like about Rocksteady, but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've never seen before. <laughs> We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but through the eyes of the villains. We're picking up the story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. Just checking. Okay. We're all seeing that thing, right? Yep. Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city, but Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very oh, people they've been sworn shit. to Oh, shit. Even Green Lantern? Oh, fuck it. Superman! <laughs> the Justice League share the same goal. Oh, shit! To take over... Earth and turn it into the new Give that what fuck is a classic just my guy with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now doing Brainiac's bidding, and Amanda Waller scrambles to try to uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. That guy looked like fucking Brainiac. Lovable characters into fighting the Justice League. In the to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission is to oh shit the Justice League. The members of the Suicide Squad are Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. Harley Quinn is definitely the most acrobatic of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind of physicality of and it. She's and she's to keep that momentum going and use that to go over buildings or swing under bridges and chain that into kind of the, the grapple mechanic that she's got. It just feels spot on. I'm a freaking superstar. 
Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a rock steady twist. He's got a real swagger to him. And in this game, he can also hover with his jetpack. God, a real precise. swagger to him. Sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols. And they all fit with his... You gotta say that while sort of talking about the black guy, Deadshot right? As this master assassin. See, real swagger to him. you want Team Waller? Or team get the you can't just say he, he feels Shark, unique or he as, feels cool. As a person is, well, as a fish, is this incredible character Real who's super well-read and super well-to-do and I'm sure could smash an operatic performance. Actually, I'm the son of a god. It is my shame to suffer mortals and their buffoonery. But also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is a brute. He is a, a tank character. He can and why take is, more damage. Why is he not fighting? Lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal. He's the fastest melee character. Captain Boomerang's got his okay. um, Speed Force Gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and Speed Force to that point along the walls, along the floor. That's get cool. Wherever he wants to go. You can use that to get up close. Dodge around in midair, taking out the enemies, and then Scarpa because he, he doesn't want to stick around. Okay, oh, that, that is fine. I'm here. One of the most exciting parts that connect oh, our game. Oh shit, Brainiac the again. Lore are the support squad. Piss off with Huh? You have Penguin, Penguin. Bond Stealer. You're making guns for us now, Bird Brain. But also some new faces. Hack who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad yeah. both navigate the world, but also upgrade their neck bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike and a nice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. And then finally we have <laughs> Gizmo, Man. who is helping the squad with insane vehicle creations that That's cool. blow shit up. Metropolis is your playground. You're gonna to get to meet different characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean, it's very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So there is a lot of statues to thank Superman for everything mm -hmm. he's done for the city. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villains' eyes. You're getting to experience this world and traverse through this world as the villains. Okay. Metropolis! So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves, and the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing. Working okay. out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks, and how to use them all to your best advantage to control the chaos and come out victorious. What's awesome about gunplay is the variety. So there's six core types of weapon families. We've got assault rifles, okay. SMGs, sniper rifles, weapon families, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety from weapon manufacturers. There's LexCorp weapons, there's GCPD weapons, there's Amartek weapons. Later on in the game, we also have gear sets. Like gear sets okay. are villain themed. For example, if you have a Bane gear set and you trigger his buffs in the game, some of it will have the Bane drown. So you will okay. burn and like boom, boom, boom. And then there's like That's green cool. smoke and you trigger all kind of effects. So you're basically taking Did the Mr. essence Freeze of the villain, effect? you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as that number goes up, it means that you can take on much harder missions. As part of this progression journey, you will unlock more and more builds, more and more ways to customize your character to really fit the way you want to play. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in <laughs> Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, you're going to get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need and to complete your missions, but most importantly, you will be able to customize your squad <laughs> to be whatever you like. You can wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around in your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score ever. <laughs> I like it. Our game is a one to four player co-op experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or okay. three friends. For the single player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad so you still feel like you're part of a team and you can switch them if you want. We try King Shark now uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission. So I'm going to switch over and I'm going to try her out. 
But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four lets you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how you can all play together in different play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice League. Cool. All the fun is right here. When the story's done, your experience doesn't end there. Rockstar of course it will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We're going to deliver lots of new content to our players. We're going to have new playable characters, new weapons, okay. and new missions. For players who like to customize their looks, we'll offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic items. There's just going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. If you like story games, if you like RPG elements, if you like co-op games, if you like <sighs> customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very fast-paced. Play as a badass. Beautiful. It's loud and unapologetic and in your face, and it's going to be really, really fun. Hey, Metropolis. It looks fun. Do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that oh, dial. Oh, shit. Live executions. your fingers. Live executions. <laughs> okay.